friends, welcome back to Cold Country. This is as usual, a different kind of video. Uh, we are on the road. We have left the homestead for a few days and we're going camping. One of our favorite times of the year, we have the truck all loaded up. There's some napping going on back there, lots of pillows and blankets and trailers on. So we're gonna be adventuring for the next few days. I will be assigned to my little princess chair since I can't really do much. And um, we're just gonna relax. So we thought we might bring you along for some of the adventure. No. I'm recording. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> He's doing it. He's doing it. I'm putting you both on just like this. What's up, guys? We're at the Elk County Visitor Center in Elk County, Pennsylvania. Benzet. Benzet, the Elk Capital of Pennsylvania. So we're going to check out the Visitor Center and see if we can see some elk. That's a steal of a deal, $35 for all that firewood. So this is when I get to sit out with my boo-boo on the princess chair and everyone else is loading up the wood for the campsite. Hey, Pep. Got a nice rainbow trout, guys. Got this nice little hole right here. We're on our vacation here at Parker Dam State Park. Release this guy. Ooh. 
beautiful. Look at this baby bass. So tiny. Vicious little guy. Checking us out. Our bounty from fishing. You don't have a mic. You gotta speak loud. So this is our bounty from fishing. We got a bunch of uh, like seven to ten inch trout that we caught yesterday at the fishing derby. And then today, Kurt caught a 17 inch trout. And it literally looks like a salmon fillet. So nice. So we're doing a little bit of a blackened fish situation. And then we're gonna smoke some of the smaller ones. On the bonfire? After the bonfire cools down. This is gonna be a four shot. This is gonna be a four shot. But the way we do it, it literally is black like this all the way through. Like mm -hmm. totally has a black skin. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's not burnt, it's literally flavored crisp. Mm -hmm. Like it's so it's the whole outside is charred and then the inside is nice and moist and it locks all the juices in. Mm -hmm. Well you can do one that way and you then do one the way that you are well, saying. Like you said, I don't want to ruin her cast iron. So. Mm -hmm. Normally the pan would be literally red hot. And then when you put the fish on it goes. I will owe oh, Amber a new cast iron after this. Mark my words. <laughs> this is only on medium heat. Mm. You can turn this bad boy up like this. I think that's good, Zachary. That's how it's supposed to sound. That's the sound I remember when I was little. Sound like that. The sound of unsupervised men is what that sounds like to me. <laughs> Well, Zachary's black and fish is a hit. <laughs> and Kurt, thanks for catching it. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you were here. <laughs> Hey guys, so we've been having such a great time here at Parker Dam State Park that we didn't really do much videoing. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of sites 109 and 110. Uh, we're down here by the uh, dump station, which was the only um, bad thing about these sites. This is a one-way road right here and on Monday morning, all the campers were lined up waiting to use the dump station. So we were uh, blocked in for a little bit. But fortunately, we didn't have to go anywhere yesterday morning. So today is our last day. We're getting ready to pack up. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of sites 109 and 110. This is 110 down here on end, right next to a service road. We have this little platform here for the truck or the trailer. You can fit two cars here. 
Uh, you can also fit two cars uh, at 109 where Amber was. And then we had this little trail that we walked down to get to our site. And then one nice thing that they did recently was they made a tent platform for uh, obviously a decent sized tent could fit on it. Ours is pretty big. I don't know the dimensions exactly, but it's pretty big and it just fit on there. So I think most uh, smaller tents would fit. Obviously not like the girls long one, it wouldn't fit on there. But um, we have our tent set up here, our fire ring and picnic area. And we have our clothesline strung along those trees there. And then we set up our camp kitchen right here at the bottom of our trail. So we had Amber's camp kitchen and our camp kitchen and then all the coolers and stuff. Except the cooler. We kept we kept the heavy cooler over there just because it was right at the bottom of the trail. It was so heavy. And then the girls have their hammocks set up behind their tent. And then we have a nice little trail that went up to site 109 where Amber was. Uh, the kids won that tent at the fishing derby. Angelina also won a sleeping bag. And then they had another tent platform Amber's tent and then this canopy and picnic table was kind of where we ate supper and then we congregated over here by Amber's fire which was a little more open and uh, chair friendly so this is where we cooked most of our food and hung out by the fire but as you can see it's a very very big area and we're down here secluded in the woods. And pretty much we were the, like the only really tent campers here at the park this year. Most of all the other sites were RVs. But this 109 and 110 is very secluded compared to the other sites. Most of the other sites are out in the open up there and then all through here but our site was down in the corner away from everybody else we have a trail here that goes up to their parking space and then they had this little boulder field over here that the kids could play on Yeah, so we had a really good time. We caught a lot of fish. We did some catch and cooks with the fish we caught. Uh, the kids did swimming and fishing yesterday. We did a little bit of hiking. We did the fishing derby down in the next town over. And we were able to get through the whole time without having to confront the bobcats at night which um i guess are kind of prevalent in this park and we're right here all next to the woods and there's nothing over here so the bobcats used to come right out of the woods every night and come visit our campsite and so we had to make sure that we had all of our food put away and everything but um right here on the back of our campsite where the service road was it's blocked off so you can't drive down here but you could hike right down this trail here and then if um, you go down like 100 yards or so there's another trail that goes down to the river where there was stocked and native trout so i did some fishing over there there was also a swimming hole right down there that the kids could swim in in the stream a nice little deep swimming hole but as you can see, it's a really beautiful campsite. The only 
two complaints we had is that if you got stuff that's heavy, you gotta haul it down the hill here. You can't just back up. We, th we thought we were gonna be able to park right here on the pictures, that's what it looked like. But unfortunately that road was blocked off. So we actually had to carry all our stuff down, which wasn't too bad. And then the only other complaint I have is having the dump station right there. Um, on Monday, like I said, all the campers and RVs were lined up on this road here. But other than that, it was a really good time and we had a lot of fun. Uh, one little game changer thing that we brought this year. Yeah, what let's was talk this? some new favorites. So we have this automatic water dispenser, which is rechargeable. I bought it off of Amazon. I will be sure to find a link for all of you for this. It was less than $15 and it's rechargeable. You put it in a four or five gallon container. We have fresh water. Yep, water. Yeah, fresh water for drinking or for washing hands. And you just push the button and it runs and push it, turns off. And one of our favorite hacks that we have had over all of our years, and we've been camping now together for eight years, eight years, Amber and I, since the kids were just wee littles, is a rifle case for your little mallet, for your camp cookers that we make our mountain pies in. You shove them all in here along with your marshmallow and hot dog stick. And if you have kids, these are the great ones because the pointy part is this way, so they're not spearing each other with them. <laughs> we speak from experience. And then you throw your axes in here. All in one convenient thing, that way you're not leaving anything behind. These are all essential items for our tent camping. And I'll let Zachary fight with that zipper because I'm not that great right now still. But that's one of our best things. And a torch. Because why fight with the, the fire? Zachary <laughs> needs to screw this back on. But why fight with the fire when you can just torch it and you have instant fire? Yeah, it's a lot nicer when when you got kids and, and everybody. And you cook a lot on the fire and the girls needing the fire like ASAP instead of fighting with it. And trying to prove that you're a man, trying to start <laughs> fires with sticks and stuff, you know, I can do all that stuff, but you're it's just, just upset your spouse. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot more convenient with a torch and a little bit of a starter log underneath the log cabin fires that we'd like to build and they, they work out real well for us, so. And it always helps to have a good locking tote to keep your dry stuff in yep. um, for your camp kitchen area. And like I said, we've been doing this now for eight years, so we've had a lot of trial and error. Every year it has rained on our trip, every single year, and we have made it through successfully. This is the very first year that we did not have rain, but we had bobs. <laughs> so. But the weather was beautiful. The weather was I mean, beautiful. the first night it got down in the 30s, which was a first for us for tent camping, but... Which a little pack of hot hands keeps you real warm overnight. Yep. And everybody's sleeping legs did well, and yep. yeah, we had a good time. Yeah. Right, Pep? Mm -hmm. The kids look forward to this every year. This is the highlight. Yep. And four months. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we're going uh, where for Labor Day? Trough Creek. Trough, Trough Creek. Trough Creek State yeah. Park, and we're staying at a big cabin. Yes, it's their unique yes so that's going to be a new experience for all of us and we look forward to maybe doing a little bit better of a video job there <laughs> and documenting our experience the best trips are the ones that you have no pictures from because <laughs> you were having such a good time yeah. all right but that's a little walkthrough guys hope you enjoyed it
Each of you, Bella. <laughs> Lena. Loud. Adalia. Fishing. Fishing. <laughs> Parker Dam State Park. Another one for the book. Be careful. Pay attention to where you're walking. I know, that's what I'm doing. Very much. Lena, your Crocs are going to be all slippery. Be careful. All right. This, this snake was right over here. Bella! Oh, shit. It's going under the rocks here. So. All right, he's scared of you guys. So stay to this side. Bella, come on. Yeah. Okay, or that. Quickly, quickly. Up the stairs. I don't see it. Yeah, it's a, okay, yeah. Quickly, quickly. Come on. Come on. Yes, and you got the right idea. But... At least one of them did. To go over on the other rock over here. I'm saying the GoPro I could put under the water and see it. We didn't bring it in there. We did. Well, your phone is waterproof, especially at the top. Yeah. No. Here it is. Yours is a 12, right? I don't believe that. Yours is a 12, and it's yeah. in there. Yeah, it's waterproof. So I can put it in water. 